Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to take a look at a new drum instrument library from Spectre Digital and that is the Icon Classic Rock Drums. You can see we're on the web page right here. Full price is normally 110 but the intro price is $80. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check this library out. But some of the highlights of the drum library that we can see right here, you've got presets, which we'll go through in just a moment. Mic bleed, which is really cool because you get the sound of one drum bleeding into the mics of the other drums. You get a full mixer and channel strip per channel, and channel strip comes with some processing, which is really cool. MIDI grooves are included. You can play it with electronic drums and remap the inputs for that. And one of the other cool things is that if you purchase this library, you get the TCI files included to be used in Stephen Slate's Trigger 2. So if you want to just use these uh, snares, toms, kicks for drum replacement on real recordings, you can do that as well. So let's jump over to the DAW. And we can see that this library is hosted within Contact. Now you do not have to buy Contact for this to work. You can just download the free Contact player. That's what I've got right here. You can see the mapping on the keyboard of all the different drum sounds at the bottom. You've got the drum kit overview as your default view. You can go to the mixer channel for the shell mix, and you can see the different processing here. SSL style EQ, transient designer, another type of EQ, an 1176 style compressor, and a saturator. You can see for each selected kit piece as well, you can adjust the envelope, how much bleed you want. You can retune the pitch. You've got a balance here into the room mics and a reverb amount. So, so a lot of control here. Uh, for the cymbal mix, very similar for the cymbals. We have drum grooves included, broken down by BPM. We have a MIDI map tab where it shows where all the different hits are mapped out to and the ability to change them. And then some volume envelope adjustments can be made in the settings. So I've got the preset number one set here. It's 90s alt kit. I'm just going to pick a random uh, BPM here, 90 BPM, and double click on this, and we'll hear what this sounds like for the first preset. Let's pick another one that has some ride symbol in it. And some crashes. Let's jump to 90s Alt Kit 2. And if we take a look back at the main drum kit here, you can see within each shell piece and each cymbal, there's a few selections of different drums we can use, different tunings, different heads. Uh, the cymbals don't have quite as many options as the shell pieces. Let's hit this groove again with the second preset. Some ride cymbal. Crashes. All right, let's do the 2000s rock kit. And of course, for any of these MIDI grooves, we can actually drag them right out of contact and over into the DAW and use them in that way with whatever library we want or edit them to your heart's content. Let's go to the next preset, big and controlled. Moving on to dry kit. Massive rock kit. Super punchy. Modern punk kit. Modern rock.
You can hear how some are more roomy than others. And of course, we could control that if we wanted to. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll. Roomy classic kit. Tally. If you look back here, you can see for Tally, we've got dampened drums. Really cut down on that ringing. Tally with room. And finally, warm and boomy for our last preset. If I jump back to the mix here and take a look at the cymbal mix, you can see typical close mic cymbals like hi-hat ride. You have an FX cymbal. We also have the Glenn Johns technique, which is really cool to be included here and adds another sense of realism to the kit. Since I didn't hear a lot of the toms in our examples, let me just go through some of the toms first with our high tom. Clear head on this one. It sounds like there's a little bit of an error with this tom because the end of the wave file sort of cuts off. If I compare that to the others, which ring out naturally, that one just kind of stops. Let me just double check. There's nothing going on in the mix here. Yep, that's strange. Let's jump to a different one. That one rings out normally. Tail's really deadened. How about the low tom? That one kind of cuts off too a little bit. Strange how some of those samples cut off. That one doesn't. Yeah, if you go to the dry kit, you can really hear how some of these cut off. So if I'm using it down on the keyboard, normal, normal, really short. So if you had some exposed drum parts, that would definitely present a problem. Hopefully that's something they can clean up in an update. So there we have it, some really punchy sounding drums, courtesy of this Icon Classic Rock drum library from Spectre Sound. Really like the punchiness of it, really simple to use. Um, hopefully they can clean up some of the little errors that are happening in some of the samples, but overall a solid sounding drum library. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.